Hello. Today I'm gonna share my decks. I'm gonna show you my decks. My Yu-Gi-Oh decks. Let's see. I have this deck which revolves around this guy and Shen Spy and Jackpot 7. So, like, These effect says that when this card affects spell damage to your opponent, your opponent sends one spell card from their deck to the graveyard, which is helpful to get rid of this if it's on your opponent's side, which this one needs to be sent to the graveyard by your opponent. This one can summon a bunch of weak monsters on my field. So, can I use Shien Spy or Creature Swap to get him onto my opponent's side? These cards will get me some weak monsters to attack into this guy. And then that'll in turn let me send that card, three of these cards, to the graveyard. This one's a Karibo deck, which has a lot of Karibos. And he's basically the boss monster. I've always loved Dystopia the Despondent. Regeki, Monster Reborn, Five Star Twilight. I think this is kind of self-explanatory and then there's this guy so and there's my extra deck I, I really don't use this thing but I mean I, I only use it for the levels on Astro Karibo so I can get him but it's, I think it's Five Star Twilight no no wait it's, uh, it's the same. It doesn't matter. Let's see. This one is going to. Well, it's. I still need to get those other cards, but. This one is the Fortune Fairies. With power and like extra ways to boost up their attack points with spell books. This is... I think I've tried this somewhere else. I think in Duel Links I've tried it, so... Yeah, this is, um, this is a pretty fun deck. This one I've also tried on Duel Links, but not with the... Uh, well, I guess it doesn't count if it's Duel Links with this deck. I have to, have to get these cards. This one's a fun one. There's Exodia. 
and I've, I've tried this on Legacy of the Duelist, so this Zodius says when let's see send one monster when this card declares an attack send one monster from your hand or deck to graveyard one normal one wait no one monster okay and um let's see when he sends all of the five forbidden one monsters the, this one this one this one this one and this one when he sends those to graveyard with his own effect that means he wins the duel right there win the duel so when I get this I got this card summoned on to opponent's field I also got the fusion wave motion so you pay 1000 and target one level 7 or higher spellcaster it must attack all monsters so if my opponent has five monsters that's Maybe an easy win, depending on how well I do have advanced virtual art. So sometimes when I already have him out, I can activate this to summon him, and then he'll actually be strong enough to attack into some of the monsters without like just losing. And there's obliterate. Tyrant Wing. Oh yeah, Tyrant Wing is for Tyrant Curse Dragon with the uh, Fingers Cridius. This one lets my Exodius attack three times, which is really helpful sometimes. Still have an Air Star for Zone. Instruction. Oh, I have. Let's see. This one's a fun deck. It um, uses lots of level 2 dragon types and level 7 and 8. That's a that's a level four that helps with my fusions. Level seven, level eight, and there's this guy. This this one really clutches it. Soldier Dragons clutches uh, the deck. It special summons a lot, and then I'm able to either fusion or link summon into this guy or this guy. And this will, this one, this card will, let's see, it says you can banish cards from your deck, and basically, let's see, this lets me banish cards from my deck to fusion summon when I use this, and this, so, this says the fusion monster is destroyed during the end phase, but when I use this, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects, so at the end, it doesn't get destroyed, which is pretty awesome. There's these. This one I like to have with three ink, so that I can use packet link and then this one if I have this guy and they're gonna attack I can probably use this before they attack and summon the five headed so I think that's mostly it for this deck there's future fusion too so there's this one that's based entirely on just fortune fairies and wands. This is a really fun deck, but it's it's definitely not competitive. Yeah, these boost these will boost their attack. 
and this one, one to one, will let me draw. This one will also let me draw cards, which is helpful for the fortune fairies because they need to be drawn for their effects to activate. Remember path, then there's these. Yep. Final countdown. I still have to finish this deck and try it out. I haven't tried out this deck, but I'm I'm hoping this is good. I I think I have a different version in my Yu-Gi-Oh Neuron Exodia. Here's my Exodia pieces. These will help negate any direct attacks. This is Legendary Exodia Incarnate. And let's see. Yeah, it's just it's just Exodia, but like based more with uh, the Legendary Exodia Incarnate. This card lets me destroy this, send this to the graveyard, and then with that I can I can use its second effect, and then I can also draw two cards from this. So yeah, that's I'm pretty sure it's easy enough to understand this deck. This summons the monsters, usually exode, right? Well. Just any monsters, I'll get Exodia on the Exodia pieces so I can have this guy in the board. And then there's. yeah. Exod. That's. I've tried this and it, it's been. it was pretty fun, this deck. This is a deck where I don't even attack. I'm not supposed to attack. And, and it even has an unfortunate report. <laughs> Which is awesome. Because, oh. This, 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 and this, and this. This one is trying to summon a lot of itself. This one, these, and these. Try to get on the board so that they can boost his defense with unity. Or Canyon does a lot more damage. That one will send these or these to the grave. This one doubles any battle damage your opponent takes when they attack. So maybe if they attack this guy, you can add unity and rise to full height or something. This one forces them to attack, and this one does the same thing, basically. But this actually, I'm so I'm so happy that I can use an unfortunate report in a game in a deck that will actually make it kind of work. It's kind of funny. And let's see. I think I explained like most of this terraforming is for Canyon and Cancel Zone. Yeah, this this one forces them to attack more than once. This one forces all the monsters to attack. This one is my Numeron deck. Let's see. Yeah, I've I've added this guy to it because I've had trouble trying to. I mean, I've had, I've, I've needed to get like a way to get this guy destroyed to summon into him, so I can have him and Shien spy, and when this guy attacks him, it destroys this guy to summon him. And yeah, 
I'm... Let me see. Uh, Numero and Colin will summon all these, well, one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, to the field. And I can use this number, number one gate, to get this guy. Then when he's summoned, like, I can have him on the field, and with, let's see, this guy, or this guy, usually Exile Force. Uh, tribute this card and destroy one monster. That means I can use this afterwards when I destroy him. When he is destroyed by a monster effect, you can target one Numeron Network and four number of keys. Special summon number C1000 lets me summon him. And then, it, and then like I said, I tag him to him. And I get this guy. At the end of the opponent's turn, if this card did not battle, you win the duel. And it gains 100,000 attack and defense during your opponent's turn only. So it's kind of overpowered. <laughs> well, I mean, except for how you have to summon it, but other than, like, you know what I mean. And. I think that's it for these. Let me link the deck list. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, this one. Hmm. Copy, let's see, yep, copy. I think that should be it. I hope you enjoyed this, um, I hope you enjoyed this.